Kingston. Hi, I'm Debbie from Kingston Libraries. Welcome to our Crafty Kids Online. Now, the other day I was reading one of my favourite stories, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and I've decided it, to do a couple of craft activities based on the book. So, today we're going to make our own caterpillar, our very own hungry caterpillar. And what does a caterpillar become? It becomes a butterfly. So we're going to make a butterfly as well. So today we're going to go through the um, step by step on how to create each item. All right, so let's start with the caterpillar. This is what you need for your caterpillar. You need a quarter of a carton, a carton, okay? You need a toothpick, you need some yellow paper, you need so a pipe cleaner, a nice long one. Purple would be ideal if you want to be in keeping with the very hungry caterpillar, but any colour will do, it doesn't matter. You need a pencil, you need a black texture, a green texture, and a pair of scissors. Okay, and the most important thing is you need either green, uh, some paint or texture colours to colour in your caterpillar. So first things first, cut your um, egg carton in half. So take the flap off, then cut it again, and then you have your two, your two pieces like that. That's our sample, and we're going to go through with this one. All right, now, first thing we're going to do before we paint is we're going to do the eyes. We're going to do, sorry, not the eyes, we're going to do the antennae. So first thing we're going to do with our toothpick, we're going to put a hole in there and a hole in there, and we're going to thread our pipe cleaner, but after we've painted, all right? So next thing we're going to do is paint our hungry caterpillar. Now, if you notice the caterpillar, his head is red, so we're going to leave that red and that is going to be green. Now, you might decide you don't want a red and green caterpillar, you want a purple and pink one. It's your imagination, please use it. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to start with the head, so I'm just going to add some red, like so. Try not to put too much paint on it, otherwise it's going to take a very long time to dry. So you might decide you want to just use texture colours, but painting does give it a good depth of colour. I'm almost finished doing the head. How are you guys going? Have you started? That'll be good. Oh, look at that. Almost done. You know what? I've just realised I've done done the, the wrong way but anyway <laughs> anyway so and now I'm going to do green beautiful green kind of goes with all the lovely colors I've got on my apron oh that's another idea can I suggest because we're painting can I suggest you put an apron on or an art smock on or an old dad's old shirt or something like that just just so you don't get paint on your clothes all right all right so we'll just quickly Paint that like so. Doesn't matter if you don't go all in between. It could be a rustic looking caterpillar, can't it? So, who has read The Very Hungry Caterpillar? I would imagine a lot of you have. What are some of your other favorite stories that you like reading? Sure you're having lots of lovely stories read to you by your parents and grandparents. Right, here we go. Almost finished. A few more dabs. That'll be done. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry for the moment. Just finishing off a few little blank bits. There we go. Right, so we're going to let that dry. And while that's dry, we're going to do our eyes. So do you see how Cadbury's got the yellow there and the green in the middle we're going to do the same so i've got a gray lid so i'm just going to draw two eyes that aren't that aren't too big so one eye and one a similar size like so i'm going to get a pair of scissors cut that out like so so you don't need a big piece of paper and i'm just going to cut those circles out Green to put in the middle of the eye, and then I'm going to stick that to the front of my caterpillar. There we go. Green 
texture and I'm just gonna do a little circle in the middle of each of those yellow pieces of paper and then I'm just gonna don't forget to put your lids on your textures as you go otherwise they're gonna dry out I'm just gonna add a little blob of glue onto there You know what? I've made a goof up because my eyes are at the back. So my tail's going to be red and my head's going to be green. So I'm just going to pop an eye there. So I've decided to be a little bit different. So it's all right if you do that too. Just a little bit of glue. That's all you need. Like so. And that's almost dry. So I'm just going to add a little black nose like so. Now, there we go, doesn't that look cute? Very happy with how that's going so far. Next thing I'm gonna do is get my, now underneath it's actually quite dry. So I'm just gonna thread this through one of the holes. Actually, after all that, I did do it the right way. So, the holes are right where I thought they were. Here we are, so I'm just gonna pop that through it's a little bit tricky but just you might get mum or dad to help you with this little bit there we go there we are so pop one half through pop the other half through there we go and just even them up like so and just fold that up like that and you can just wrap that around just a little bit like so. Do that for both of them. There we go. There's, and you know what? Well, it quite works. Let's just try that again. Just gonna wrap that around once. There we go. And I'm gonna, very, before this dries, I'm just gonna add my eyes. Got a black spot at his, at his back. We can pretend that's his tail, can't we? And we'll just add a little bit of black there to make his nose. And voila! We have got a very hungry caterpillar. Well done, everyone. Do you want to go making a butterfly now? Sure you do. Okay. So what we need, good idea to wash your hands, then start on the next job. Okay, we need a stick. Just a stick, go outside, have a wander around, find some small sticks like this, find some lovely autumn leaves, because this is what you need. So a stick, some autumn leaves, similar size, and they look a bit like butterfly wings. So get leaves that remind you of butterfly wings. So you need those items. You also need two pipe cleaners the same size. I've got yellow and green, but you can get whatever color you like. And you need a smaller one, contrasting color, to wrap around its head and I've got a little pom-pom for its nose and I've got a set of googly eyes. Now, if you don't have googly eyes, you could use that yellow paper again. You could flip it on the back, which has got white and just use that to do the eyes. Just use your imagination. Just make do with what you've got at home, okay? There we are. So let's have a go at creating our butterfly. All right. So we're going to grab the yellow one first and just put about four centimetres up there and that's its epinae. Um, then we're going to wrap that around once so it's nice and tight and then we'll gradually wrap that around the stick and just leave a small gap for the next colour, just a small gap. All the way around to the bottom and we're just going to wrap that just a little bit more, that's it, so it's nice and tight. And if you like, you can just bend the top of the antenna just to make it look a bit more realistic. Then we're going to do the same, but the opposite way. Okay, so again, about four centimetres, like so. Wrap it around and just go into all the gaps. Just start again. Doesn't look quite right. Actually, I'm going to start on that side. That'll be better. Okay. Around, I'm just filling in all those gaps. Just wrap it right at the end. There we 
go. Bend our antenna. That's step one and two. Now we're going to get the orange and we're going to wrap that around its head like so. And then we've got something to be able to stick our eyes and our nose on, haven't we? Okay, there we go. That's how it looks. That's the front of it. So I've got some glue. So I'm just going to pop, blob, place a little bit of glue there, there, and there, and one there for its nose. Remember, if you don't have googly eyes, just use paper. Just make use of what you've got at home. Oops. It's going to take a little while to stick, so I'm just going to use that. There's its nose. And the last thing we're going to do is add the leaves. First thing we're going to do is we're going to snip these off. Grab your scissors again, snip that off there. Snip that off there. We're going to get some sticky tape and we're going to add sticky tape to the wings. Just a nice big piece. You might actually need two pieces. One piece. I'm actually going to pop it on the table and join the leaves together first. And then I'm going to attach that carefully to the back of my butterfly. There we go. Now, if you need another, that's stuck really well because I've just got a little bit overlapping each end. And look at that. Doesn't that look cute? And what you can do, you can actually attach a piece of string and hang it from, from your window in your bedroom, or you can add a magnet on the back and add it to your fridge if you wish. So there we are. Today we have made a butterfly which came, which started as a caterpillar. And you might like to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar tonight. Now, with your leftover carton, part of your egg carton, you can make other things like, you might like to make a spider, or you might like to make a three-eyed monster or a six-eyed monster. I'll leave that up to you. I look forward to seeing you again another time. Keep safe. Bye for now.